Are you serious? Are you serious? You know what, folks? One person said to me, Paul, please, please don't read. I got an email. Please don't read Luke 21, 25. For there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring. Okay, I won't read it. I'll just quote it. Okay. No, seriously, in all seriousness, there is a situation developing here that's very important. Yesterday, we had an X class one, uh, class X one solar flare eruption on the sun. But it was at the time of the eruption from sunspot AR 1944, it was facing the earth directly. That means that a massive eruption of an X one firing off unbelievable energy and power from the sun directly toward the earth. Now, it doesn't get to the earth right then. It's going to arrive on January 9th. The question is, where on the earth will this highest peak of energy hit? Because where will the earth be spinning at the time that that CME gets here? Well, BP Earth Watch, and I, was, uh, he, I was a guest on his, he's got a new radio show, and I was a guest on his show yesterday, and I heard him, I could hear his wheels turning on trying to get quickly to his equipment to start to analyze this situation. What does it mean? First of all, I mean, I ask him a direct question, that is, could this cause an earthquake? Well, there's already enough rumbling and, and, and things going on in the earth. Let me give you a reason. Listen to the signs we've been seeing in the last 24 to 48 hours. Three sons, a sun dog, was seen, uh, pictures taken of by several people over central Illinois. Matter of fact, the church where my dad once pastored and where my former youth pastor is currently the pastor in uh, Knox, Indiana, where we live now, or where our church is now, I should say. I live in West Lafayette, Indiana. He, he, the pastor is named Brian Penson, who went outside and saw the triple sun sun dog, went, got his camera and took a picture of it with his steeple of the church right in the center of the middle of the center sun, the real sun ball, and the two on the other side. Spectacular picture. Um, and uh, and then people in Madison, Indiana, people in northern uh, Illinois, people in Wisconsin, people in North Carolina, people in Ohio, uh, all over saw this sign. It's a sun dog, but it was triple instead of two. It's very, very powerful. Same time that was going on, a sinkhole opened up in Brazil and swallowed seven homes. While that was going on, we had ice quakes in Canada from the frigid temperatures. And America was experiencing the coldest day in 20 years in what scientists are calling a polar vortex of extreme. I had a foot of snow on the ground and 40 below zero. Yet Sunday, we're expecting 50 degrees. Are you serious? And what was going on in England? Well, Britain was having 30-foot waves crashing against the, the, the seawall. Large hail, 70-mile-an-hour straight-line winds, trees and power outages. Are you serious? And in Portugal, a tsunami, what scientists are calling a metro tsunami. I've never even heard of it. It wasn't from an earthquake. So obviously the earth, the space, the atmosphere, and everything in our universe is showing signs of the coming of the Lord. Every birthing pain and contraction imaginable is going on. And while all this was going on, the sun created a flare directly toward the earth. Okay, I'm going to play, here's a, uh, I'm going to play a little bit of, I've got a report here from uh, NASA. But before I read some of this, I want you to hear about one minute of uh, Jesse at BP Earthwatch. I want you to hear what he had to say about this flare and then let me tell you what he predicts or could possibly happen. It's kind of a really uh We watch is uh, also double configured. Check this out. The M72 is an impressive flare this morning, but we had one at the small flare above, one the 7.2, then this one at 1832 UT. It was X1 solar flare from 1944. They're saying it's also has a coronal mass ejection. Double whammy. I'll show you why. Guys, but check that out, this out. These are amazing images. The majesty of God and the power of God. He can do what he wants to when he wants to. He can take what he wants out when he's ready. 
but just take a glance around the entire sun and look at what's coming on the left side. Now, if you want to uh, watch that video, it's called Earth Facing X Flare, Giant Sunspot 1944, over at his channel, BP Earth Watch. Now, I was reading here to what NASA had to say, and of course, I know what the scripture says. I know the Bible talks about these events. It said there'll be signs in the sun, moon, and in stars, and distress of nations. And of course, I've all morning been sharing with you the distress of the war, whether it be in Asia, the buildup of the threat of potential nuclear uh, confrontation between America and, and North Korea, and, and, and then all the horrible situation developing from the Arab Spring in the Middle East and how Israel is caught in the eye of the hurricane. I mean, I've been covering these for, for you. But here's what NASA said. The X-1 flare that hurled the CME toward Earth also accelerated a swarm of high-energy uh, protons in our direction. This... So High energy protons. Now, the effects of the proton uh, are visible in, of course, the January 7th uh, CME. And uh, we're going to feel this on January 9th, folks. Uh, also, they say here that the source of all this activity is because of this huge sunspot called AR-1944. One of the biggest sunspots of the past decade. So you got to hear me. This thing is huge. And it goes and fires this high proton energy uh, class X1 flare right toward the earth at a time when we have so much instability on this planet already. Now, I've always said that no matter what's going on in the spiritual world, you will see it manifest in the physical. If mankind is out of control in areas, God seems to mirror it with reaction by his planet. Now remember, we are made from the dust of the ground. And when the Lord said in, in just in the, before the days of Noah, he said that the earth was full of violence. And he said, and man was. It was almost as if he's saying the earth was and man. Well, isn't that what's going on now? Man is full of violence and of mocking God and scoffing God and won't repent and blaspheming and cursing God. And at the same time, the earth seemingly is as violent as man is. And so you can, you can sense the end time apocalyptic hour approaching unless you want to go bury your head in the sand. And don't worry, God will shake you out of the sand if you do. There is no way you're going to escape the fact that God is sending judgment upon the earth. And if you don't want to be here when the wrath of God is poured out, then you want to get saved. You want to be born again, filled with the firepower of God. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Accept Christ as your Savior. Now before I go preaching at you real fast here, hang on a minute. Here's the, the rest of the story. When will this high energy proton CMEs reach the earth? And when it does, what side will the earth be on at the time of the impact? Well, guess what? Jesse went and studied it out. And it will be hitting the earth the same time that the earth has spun in the direction of Japan and the South Pacific. I mean, the last thing Japan needs is Fukushima to take on the energy of a CME. The last thing that the world needs is a massive earthquake or a major earthquake in the South Pacific, which could create another tsunami effect when you've got all this radiation seeping everywhere. I mean, this is, folks, I just want, want you to know. So tomorrow, about, uh, I believe it, it, it'll be sometime in the afternoon tomorrow that Japan will begin to feel the brunt of this CME proton. And I don't know what this means. I really, nobody does. But I think it's important that we are aware Scientifically, we're being able to figure out what God is doing, but when about the time we think we do, God shows his other hand. Are you saved? It's time to be prepared. We're living in the last days. I'm going to show you some more stuff. I'll be right back. You think all this, I've talked about all these things. I haven't even told you about the super, vo super, super volcanoes, what's going on with these. I'll be right back. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't miss today's show. From 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. We'll talk about this. We have to. 
We'll talk about it from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Or live stream, or my new live stream channel, or blog talk radio called The Coming Apocalypse, or listen on your cell phone. You just call this number, 347-324-5208. And you can listen to the whole three hours right on the, on the phone. God bless.